Greetings, friends and colleagues. Sean Elvis. Coming at you from uh, capital of Denver, Colorado today. Um, beautiful sunny day, not a cloud in the sky. So here we go, getting on with this message. Um, young girls today are being taught to go to school, right? Graduate high school, go to college, get a career. And marriage and, and, and children are being put in the back burner. Um, what does the Bible say about this? You know, First Timothy chapter 5, verse 14 says, I will therefore that the younger women marry, bear children, guide the house, give an occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. You see, clearly the Bible teaches women to get married young, have kids, and be in charge of keeping the home. You know, most women in the Bible were taken as wives young. They were actually kept virgins by their fathers prior to marriage. And any potential husbands used to have to ask permission from the girl's father to take as a wife. Um, this is the biblical way marriage has been done. And even not so long ago in this country, women used to get married as early as age 15. In fact, most states in this country, it's perfectly legal to uh, take a wife at the age of 15 so long as the, um, her parents consent to it. Now, this was considered normal throughout human history and obviously today in modern times, um, you'd be looked at as crazy even though it lines up with traditional biblical values, right? In the 1950s, the average woman got um, married by the age of 21, and the majority of women were married. Um, in fact, 75% of women in the 1950s were married. Um, the average uh, young woman obviously uh, married at the age of 21. Some married younger, uh, some married older, but the average being 21. Um, you know, today, uh, uh, things have changed uh, dramatically, you know, as of in just the past 50 years, as of 2019, the average woman now gets married at the age of 27. Now that's six years more than the average was 50 years ago, but get this, not even half of the women are getting married nowadays, guys. Where before it was 75% of women getting married, now only 47% of women are even getting married at all. That's a big difference, right? Like I said, feminism is teaching women to postpone marriage and make school a priority. And what I think this is leading to is women having sex before marriage, right? And because they're losing their virginity and having sex before marriage and out of wedlock, they end up never getting married because men do not want to marry non-virgin women. See, my theory on this is that feminism has taught these young girls that career is more important and family and because of the sexual sexual liberation of women you see which is taught um, that uh, you know they should go to get a career first and uh, sexually liberated these women fathers no longer protect their daughter's virginity right like they did in the past like they did throughout all human history so what's happening is society is teaching these young girls put your career first postponed marriage and as a result the family is dying off fun fact here women only propose marriage five percent of the time you see guys marriage proposal is a male dominated practice women virtually never propose marriage I mean five percent it's, it's it's unheard of it's very rare and but it's out of the scope of this video to uh, discuss why that is um, but I'll just say this, you know, it's just a part of nature that men select women for marriage. And all throughout the Bible, you know, um, the Bible says that men took themselves, men took themselves a wife. And every man will tell you the most desired wife is a young virgin woman, right? Who hasn't, who hasn't been with a man before, who hasn't known a man, um, who hasn't lied with a man. And every man will tell you that the most desired wife is a young virgin who belongs to him, right? So my point is, feminism, which has taught young girls to postpone marriage and sleep around in their youth, and strive for a career instead of family, has made them unattractive to men, and as a result, men are not, getting, are not proposing marriage, right? The Bible calls this whoremongering, right? You see, because what modern men are doing is instead of proposing marriage, they're just proposing sex. Now, that's whoremongering. That's uh, turning women into whores. Um, 
In other words, men just want to sleep around with women, not have to provide for them, not marry them or have children. And I think this is having like a snowball effect um, that's getting progressively worse because what I mean is women are realizing that the marriage rates are decreasing and paired with the fact that women are becoming more financially independent and capable of, you know, running their own household, uh, providing their own, you know, security and food with the government, you know, and the police department and all this stuff. What was happening is they're just abandoning marriage altogether and they're, and they're literally quitting before they even try. So what they're basically saying is, you know, to protect myself against um, the likelihood that I'm not going to get married, which is down to like 47 percent. Right. Um, they're saying, well, I'm just going to go out there and get a career and, and provide for myself. Um, so basically the, the problem just becomes like a snowball effect. It just progressively gets worse and worse. Um, now, don't get me wrong, guys. I'm not advocating for anybody out here to get married in these in these corrupt court systems with all these um, unjust laws. Um, I'm not advocating for anybody to do that in this feminist society um, with the ridiculous laws. I, you know, it, a marriage is, is a toxic system nowadays. It's very dangerous, so get married at your own risk. But what I am saying is this, and I want you to think about this, because it affects the children and the next generation, right? Because the earlier a woman gets married, um, you know, preferably as a virgin, um, it, it, it tends to uh, cr create a tighter bond between her and her husband, and thus a tighter relationship, which lends to better um, a better atmosphere to rear a child, right? And also, it keeps men and women both focused on being productive. You know, they're not they're not both the man and the woman are not out there, you know, getting drunk, um, acting a fool you know, getting into trouble, basically, you know. Um, the Bible says, you know, the women wander from house to house and, uh, um, you know, they, they get into gossip and things like this, right? And, you know, men too. So it's, so the crime rates could go down as a, as a cause of this. Um, but also, ultimately, you know, I believe that re reproduction and children should be glorified. You know, families should be... Um, uh, should be a proud thing to have, you know, I remember my grandma, you know, she got married young at age 15, 16, and she had like nine or 10 kids, and, you know, God bless my grandma, and I, and I honor my grandma for doing that, and, you know, I'm, I'm a product of that, and thank you for that, grandma, I appreciate that, and the, and the fruit of the womb, children, should be considered a blessing, you know, to me, it seems like feminism has made children a curse and a burden, you know, anyways, that's my message today, guys. It's a short message, um, but just, you know, give you something to think about. Um, are you content with a society filled with unmarried women, um, no families, no children, and an abundance of whores? Um, if so, you might want to consider doing something to put a stop to this, or at least, at the very least, um, stop contributing to this. Um, stop entertaining these whores, you know, stop paying for prostitutes, um, stop uh you know just having random sex you know and hookups in this hookup culture stop giving your dollars to companies that uh promote feminism you know and including consuming content content that promotes whoredom you know like pornography or you can just say screw it you know there's none of this is my problem um and you can become a part of the problem you know it's it, ultimately it's your it's your guys's choice you can go whichever way you choose um i'm just presenting you uh my perspective on on the topic here but ultimately as MGTOW you know you guys have the power you know you have the power to change the future the future is in your hands gentlemen um, anyway until next time this is Sean Elvis signing off and as usual I'll be giving God the last word on this um, I'll see you guys next time God bless Proverbs chapter 14 verse 1 says every wise woman buildeth her house but the foolish plucketh it down with her own hands. Amen.